Hey everyone, welcome to part two of my Alice in Wonderland series. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make the Cheshire Cat Cupcake. This is one of my most requested tutorials ever, so I'll show you what you need. If you missed part one of the series, please check it out. I showed how to make the Alice Cupcake. And part three is going to be the Drink Me Bottle. I really like making things like this, the cupcakes, donuts, whatever, that are just likenesses of characters. They don't need faces or anything for you to know who they are. So, like, it doesn't have to be Alice in Wonderland. You can make, you know, any kind of character this way. And it makes it really unique because, like I said, you don't have to paint faces on them or anything for people to recognize that this is Alice in the Cheshire Cat, so I think that's really cool. Um, the first thing that you're going to need is some oven baked clay. I use Sculpey. Um, you can use any kind of oven baked clay, make sure it says oven bake, and the baking instructions are going to be on the package. The colors that you're going to need are white for the smile, you don't need much of that. The m biggest color that you're going to need is like a light purple. I have some measured out for the cupcake base and you'll need the rest of it for you know the swirl and his tail. You're also going to need some kind of darker purple for um, the accent color around the swirl for his ears and the tail. You're also going to need some kind of scrap clay. I have it already formed into like a little dome shape. That goes inside the swirl base. That way, when you're sticking an eye pin in there, you know, it, it's not just wobbling around inside the cupcake. It has something to go into. And it also makes the swirl more sturdy if you're wrapping it around some scrap clay. You're also going to need some kind of tool to texture the cupcake with on the outside. You can use a toothpick or a store-bought tool like this. And if you're wanting to make this into a charm, you're going to need an eye pin. So let's get started. The first thing you'll want to do is take the base, so the small, however big you want it to be, it doesn't have to be this big. Um, I think this is a little bigger than a tablespoon of clay. You want to roll it into a ball and begin forming the cupcake base. You just kind of push it down and press out the sides to form a dome shape. There's the base so far. It doesn't have to be perfect yet um, and we'll texture it at the end. You want to go ahead and take your scrap clay and stick it onto the cupcake base. You want to make sure that this is smaller than the cupcake base, that way the swirl has something to wrap around and it's not sticking over the sides of the cupcake. And just set that aside. Now I want to start forming the swirl of the cupcake and to do that you take your um, large piece of light purple clay and I don't think we'll need this much so I'm just going to cut some off of that. We'll need some for the tail and everything later so I'm just going to roll this into a long snake. I want mine to be about this thick. I don't want it to be too thin and I have it tapered at the end. This will make it easier for you to start wrapping your cupcake around. So just attach the tapered end and just start wrapping it around the scrap clay. You might have to push down to keep any gaps from forming as you're wrapping it. Once you get to the top, 
you'll have all this clay left over. So just cut it sort of at an angle to give it a tapered end at the top also. That's what we have so far. Next you want to take your accent color. I have the, I think it's called Plum for Sculpey. And again, we're not going to need this much, so I'm just going to cut some off of that. And roll this into a thin, long snake. You want it to be a lot thinner than um, the light purple color. I have my piece rolled out into a much thinner snake, and the end is also tapered. What you want to do is attach this in the same spot where you started wrapping the first piece, and you want to fill this in to all the gaps starting at the bottom and working your way to the top. Just spiraling like you did the first time. When you get to the top, um, you can do like a little swirl if you want or just cut it off. That's how mine looks at the top. I like to make sure there's no holes at the top. And you want to save this piece. You'll need that for the tail. Next I'm going to show you how to do the ears. Let me just take two pieces of the um, dark purple clay and roll them into balls. It should be about this big. And to make the ears, you take the ball and flatten it, pinch one side while pushing the other one, and then do that again and it'll make a triangle shape. Again, you just flatten it while pinching one side and pushing the other in and then doing that again. And they should be about the same size. And you'll want to just attach those to the top sides. There's his little ears. To make the tail, um, you just take, if you have any leftover from um, the bigger swirl, which I do, you can use that. Um, or you can roll out another piece by just taking a you know, piece of that clay, rolling it into a thicker piece. about that big, and you'll want to um, taper the both sides. You want to kind of make sure before you make your final piece that it wraps all the way around like that. Mine's long enough. You want to take your accent collar and you may have to fix it a little bit if it's kind of crooked. And you want to attach this to one of the tapered ends so it doesn't move. And just start swirling it around the tail. And then attach it at the other tapered end. And it doesn't really matter, you know, which side you attach this to. You know, I want to choose this as the back, so push that to make sure it stays in place. And then you want to set your cupcake down so that when you wrap your tail around, it's sort of level to the bottom of the cupcake.
that's how it looks so far. And for the smile, I don't really have a great way of making the smile. I need to kind of work on that a bit. I'm not sure if I like. It's okay, I just don't, I don't know. There's probably a better way to make it. But what I do is just take a little bit of clay, roll it out a little bit. You don't want a humongous piece. And then I flatten it. Like that. And I pinch the sides while I curve it. So it has like two tapered ends. My white is stained. Make sure yours isn't. This table is horrible. Okay, so that's my little smile. And then whatever tool you have to texture with. Um, you just want to make teeth marks. These don't have to be perfect. Sort of gives him character. If you've ever seen the cartoon, which is what this one's based off of. Um, you know he has crooked teeth too, so. And you want to just stick this on. I don't like it to be straight like that. I like it to be kind of crooked also. And that's what he looks like. And this should be the finished product. Um, you just have to bake it following your instructions and glaze it. If you're wanting to make it into a charm, you just take an eye pin. I like to make sure I'm using a taller, you know, one that's almost as tall as the cupcake because I don't want it to fall out. These cupcakes are kind of heavy, so. And that should be it. Please ask if you have any questions, just comment down below. And stay tuned for my next video in the Alice series. I'm going to show you how to make this Drink Me bottle. Thank you so much for watching, and please rate and Please, 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 please subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye.